So hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a pattern out of a skirt or out of an old skirt. So what you'll see is this right here. It's my one of my old dresses, older dresses that I had in my closet, and it's just like a front and back dress. But the skirt is like a, I, I sewed the skirt onto the top, like bottom separately. But I sewed the skirt onto the top, and so I'm just basically making a pattern out of the back, the front, and the waistband. So you'll see that in this video and see how I created these pattern pieces out of this skirt. So for this video, it's going to be these pattern pieces, how I made this skirt into a pattern and just remember don't forget to like and subscribe this video give it a good old thumbs up if you think it's good see you later until next time blessings on blessings on blessings so let's get started you're gonna need wax paper to start you off and then you're gonna need a ruler pens and a pair of scissors here's some extra pins as well the safe the straight pins and then actual marking pins so that's the front pattern piece Turn it to the back, that's the back pattern piece, and then the waistband. So we're just going to get started with the skirt back. So you can see I'm going to cut the wax paper to the length of the skirt, and then I'm going to go ahead and open it up so that I can start with the back measurement. You want to add seam allowance when you're cutting the fabric you can add the 0.5 seam allowance or you can put it in your pattern and just mark um, an additional 0.5 inches on the border of your skirt you're gonna see me marking I'm gonna mark all of the spots first with points and then I'm going to outline them with an actual harsh black line I make my points about an inch apart so that I can get a pretty good curve. So here I am outlining it with the permanent marker, the length of the skirt, the waist of the skirt, and then the curve. That'll be your hip curve and the length of the actual skirt. So now it's time to cut and label the pattern piece. So you're just going to go ahead and cut it out. gonna label it skirt back and you're gonna cut two pieces you're gonna have two pieces that are going to be sewn together in the middle and on the sides so make sure that when you fold the fabric over that you put this on part of the fabric that isn't folded but you'll see that when I lay the fabric out and I also do a line so that I have the direction in which the fabric is going to go so that's where you'll adjust the length and you can adjust it with the extra piece of paper. So now on to the skirt front. So the skirt front I've already cut out. It's the same, this is going to be the same thing you do to the back. You're just putting it on the fold. Then you're going to label it on the fold as well. So here I'm just taking extra measurements to make sure that both of them are correct. Then I go ahead and label it skirt front, cut on the fold, and cut one because when you unfold it, it will be your entire front of your skirt. Now onto the waistband. So the waistband, you're going to create the waistband using your waist measurement. 
and that's going to be the on the skirt not your actual waist measurement because this is a knit fabric it's going to be less than your actual waist because of the stretch so go ahead and measure the um, old skirt for the waist and then you're going to have that measurement for the bottom and the top mine was around 28 so i put 28 on the bottom and the top unless you want to adjust it like i did i adjusted the top part of my band so that it can be smaller and more narrow than the bottom part of the band since it will be in the small of my back so you're going to see me subtract about 0.6 inches from the top of the waistband but that's completely optional there's also optional elastic band that's going to take away about one to five inches as well so your overall waistband is going to be about five inches minus the elastic waistband. So here we're just going to mark the points and create the outline for the waistband. You're going to be measuring six inches in width and then your waistband, your the actual waist length is going to be, since mine was 28 all the way around, I basically cut that in half. 14 and made that my waistline. Because you're also going to be cutting the waistband on the fold as well. So here's just a reminder of the optional adjustment that I did to the top of my waistband, which is 0.6 inches less than the bottom. So then you go ahead and cut and label the waistband. So it'll, it'll be skirt waistband and I put skirt up there so that I know between by pattern pieces which one is for the skirt and which the skirt and which one is for you know, another type of skirt that I make. So skirt waistband, cut one on the fold and there you go. So these are all of our pattern pieces, the skirt front, the skirt back, and the waistband. So this I'm just going to fold it to kind of show you how the waistband is going to stretch across the entire waist. But this is the fabric and this is what I'm going to be using is full print, making sure that it's pointed in the right direction. And we're going to lay, lay it out, pin our pieces on, and then cut them out. Skirt front, so that's the fold of the fabric, and I'm pinning it directly to the fold. back of the fabric and I'm going to be pinning it to the space space of the fabric next to the skirt front so that's going to be cutting two pieces out since it's folded over I'm going to put the waistband on the bottom of my fabric so basically I'm going to make sure that the waistband is on the two pink flowers that you see there and I'm making sure that my edge is also on the fold and facing in the correct direction. I ended up turning it around because right now it looks like it's upside down and not the waistband should be turned around. But I ended up doing it the um, correct way when I finish when I cut out. So after done pinning it on, measure it, make sure it's correct, and go ahead and cut out my pieces. So this is the front, the skirt front and the skirt back. I'm just going to go ahead and cut those two out and cut straight across the bottom since it's the same length. So there's one piece and we're just going to go ahead and finish cutting out the other. Make sure we're leaving that seam allowance around the egg. So 
So right now I'm making my marks, my points onto both pattern pieces, fabric pieces. So that they can line up when I am uh, take the pattern, actual pattern pieces off and place them together so I can pin it up. And I'm making sure those same marks are on the top of my skirt front and skirt back so that it matches up and line up to my waistband. And there's Anna's hands just going, going, going. And those are all the pieces. Front, back, and waistband. So now I'm just making the markings with my scissors. Just going ahead and making the slits. And making sure I line up everything right and that everything's the same length. So definitely don't forget to like this video if you think that it's going well. The pattern pieces are turning out all right. Now this is from an old skirt and we're making a pattern from an old skirt. So I hope that it's uh, yours turn out good if you do try this at home. You see this is the fab, the uh, waistband and that's I did it facing up. And then here are the front and back. Well these are the two back pieces. And then the skirt front, we unfold. And these are all the pattern pieces that we created. So now I'm going to go ahead and pin up the skirt back to the skirt front. Now it's kind of hard to use these pins in this fabric. Although this fabric is a knit fabric, it is a thick, a thicker knit fabric. So it definitely, um, definitely a little bit more difficult to stick the pins in. Now here's the close up of the slits, the close up of the markings that I did so that the front, back, and waistband can match up. And now I'm flipping the skirt and over so that I can match the waistband on and go ahead and pin that on. Now I'm using more pins than usual so that you can see a better view of what the skirt looks like together, almost like it was sewn together. So make sure that I have extra pins in there so that there aren't any gaps when I'm showing you what it looks like all together. So here's it fold, fold it up. And I went ahead and put a couple safety pins on the back to hold it together. And fold it down the waistband on the top. Now this is where you'll put the elastic. Even though I didn't make it to where, how it really would look, did an additional about a quarter of an inch more than this, than what you see here. I fold it over a little bit more so that I have more space to put the elastic band through. Now usually I wouldn't use as many safety pins so that I didn't um, have to take them out when actually sewing the skirt together. I like to guide my fabric through the sewing machine, um, just visually making sure that it's lined up before I sew. 
since it's extra thick and I folded it over, it looks like an extra struggle while I'm trying to pin it up right now. So, unfortunately, I'm also using my Mac computer, so the quality of lighting goes in and out. But here it is, all pinned up and together. I try to pull it on myself so that you can kind of see what it looks like. And there's the back of it. And then I try to go ahead and put it on my mannequin so that you can see what it looks like on my mannequin. Definitely don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more. I have a couple more videos coming out. I hopefully we'll see this skirt being sewn together and doing a bit of modeling as well. So thanks for watching this video. And definitely give it a thumbs up if you think I did a good job. And see you next time.